If you read in Hebrews chapter 10 verses 23, it says, Let us hold tightly without wavering to the hope we affirm for God can be trusted to keep his promises. You know, this scripture encourages us to hold on, hold on to God, hold on to his promises. Now you may say, how can I hold on to hope? My prayers have been unanswered for many years. You know, it's a big challenge for all of us to hold on to God, especially during difficult times, you know, when our prayers have been unanswered. You know, today I want to tell you a secret of holding on to God during difficult time, and that is focus. Focusing on what God has done rather than what He has not done. Because whatever you focus on, it's bigger in your life. You know, I do agree that many things God has not done in your life. But let us not deny there are many things God has done in our life. You know, think about all the times you know, in the past that God has come through for you. You know, when you were going through difficult time, He reached out to you. He helped you. So if God has done in the past, He will definitely do it now and in the future because He has not changed. And ultimately, it is a decision that we all need to make to hold on to God, no matter what we feel, what we think and what we see. And above all, why should we not hold on to God? He is faithful. What He says, He will do it. Amen. And I want to encourage all the viewers, no matter what you're going through, don't give up on God. Hold on. You know, hold on as though your life depends on him and he will definitely come through you because your breakthrough is just around the corner. Amen. God bless you.